Hello everyone, Curse of Monkeys here, and as you see in my presentation, today we will be working in Autodesk Maya 2013. And this tutorial will be about the modeling, and this will be the first part, and we will be modeling the spaceship. Hey, <laughs> agenda. So, in the agenda, we will see the our basic things which we will be doing in our project. So, techniques, the current project. We will overview some, uh, I can't say that it will be a lot of techniques uh, or we will be overviewing them, but some techniques we will definitely use to this project to achieve better quality and reduce the pole account uh, to our spaceship model. So, low or high polygon modeling. It's first of all we need to know what that mean and sometimes when the people think that the uh, 11,000 triangles it's a very high model it's uh, sometimes it's nonsense it's depending where we will be using. For example, in a game or a phone game engine, it's yeah, it's definitely will be a big amount of polys. But for a PC games, it's really low poly model. So, uh, what we will, must choose: quadrangulate or triangulate the model. It's uh, sometimes it's difficult to choose if you don't know where you will be using or in game engine or in the movies or somewhere else so we will check this topic too maps and how they can help us to model and reduce the poll account it uh, you know sometimes uh, when you're modeling you can achieve the better quality with uh, proper maps uh, like displacement maps sometimes you can get the faster result from the displacement map uh, like uh, if you for example want to sculpt something or do some tedious work but you can reduce the time if you have a proper uh, displacement map and of course you can transfer maps uh, like uh, normal maps and um, ambient occlusion and we will talk about that too so at the almost the final topic we will must know how to fix and find the errors uh, errors in the, our topology so we will overview that too it's uh, really not so hard uh, sometimes we need to find the errors and sometimes we can't simply just see them and for a final topic it will be project overview high poly or low poly mesh we need always to decide which type of uh, modeling we will be using and uh, which technique we will be using maybe it's a little bit better to say so first it will be create a high poly mesh after it you can retopologize all mesh with a low poly tools for example the first part software like a topogon or 3d code or of course as i heard right now the zbrush can uh, retopologize too but it's too difficult for me i'm not using uh, the zbrush i don't like it uh, regarding his uh, movement the tools but in any case uh, we have a second opportunity to create a low poly mesh after it you can duplicate the mesh subdivide it and of course we can uh, sculpt it in software like uh, again like in the zbrush or um, for example moodbox or in our sculpting application or we can just add some details of course and we can do it the same things in maya but sometimes it's taking a little bit more time and the third part third sentence is uh, it's 
really really important don't forget we can convert the non-polygonal mesh to polygons i mean <clears throat> in maya we have uh, nerves primitives uh, we have um, subdivision primitives not only the polygons so if you're doing uh, any project try to think how you can achieve the better result with uh, less work i should say okay so quads or trees trees besides tanks uh, for triangles and we must decide for uh, what purpose we are modeling and in our particular project we will be modeling for udk and udk it's a game engine and if you will look at the sentence three uh, almost all the game engines will like the triangles and really i don't know the engine which uh, use quads uh, that's why this is the reason why i write the third this sentence we should use triangles at the final output and as i read an articles uh, almost all the time for uh, movies and uh, such things like movies or advertisement they asking for uh, quads so at the fourth sentence you see for a movies preferable quads okay if we will look a little bit different where we using quads and triangles it will be quads for a smoothable object simple explanation for example if you will open the maya and create a simple shape from the quads you can press number three and you will get a smoothed preview of this mesh simple as that and basically it will be never with any errors i mean um, like lightning or something like that and just try to create a triangles uh, some kind of shape or object uh, based on triangles and try to smooth and you will get unpredictable results so if you want to smooth at the final uh, output your mesh definitely use quads if you don't use triangles this is it so simple thing maps we can achieve a lot of things with the maps so we will create and transfer and generate some maps to improve our module starting from uv map and normal maps diffuse and displacement of course uh, with a displacement we will be creating some uh, shapes and other maps we will be using for uh, texturing and basically this is it so clean up in Maya to achieve a better results and see in the fastest way how and where the topology is cracked or um, have some other issues we can use lightning settings uh, you always can turn off the back faces uh, lightning off and if you're trying to merge the some vertices you can always try to press button free to smooth the mesh and you will see if you have uh, some kind of variations uh, with uh, holes or something like that you can always press smoothable view and you will see if you have any unpinned uh, vertices from the surface and of course we can use the Maya cleanup tools to uh, look about duplicating faces or uh, some kind of different errors and we will go in the, when we will be creating this model we will really go through all these tools and I will show you all the examples how I am checking the errors in some particular situations so project overview 
After this uh, simple course, we will uh, know a simple modeling techniques. We will understand what purpose is uh, using trees and where to use quads. We know we should know basic understanding about the maps and how to use them. We will have basic understanding how to check the errors in our mesh. So, if you have any questions or issues, please don't hesitate and contact me from my site. It will be www.ittau.com or ittau.lt and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channels. Thank you for your attention and bye.